Hey, this is Kevin in Commonwealth Picker. Here we're about ready to talk about one of the biggest yard sales I've ever seen in my life. And I got the little flipper here to say hi to. Hi. All right, see, there's the little picker. Yep. What do we got here, Turner? What do you see? You see a bunch of DVD players yes. and VHS? Yeah? Was Daddy happy when he got this stuff and yes. brought it home? All right, you want to say goodbye to everybody? Bye. Say bye. Mm -hmm. Say don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. All right, in a little bit. Bye. <laughs> All right, so I was at what's called Joyous Junk. It's the biggest churchyard sale I've ever seen. It's at Res Resurrection Catholic Church uh, near Smith Mountain Lake. It is uh, usually at the beginning of June, so if you're down Virginia way next June, you ought to hit it up. You literally cannot see everything at this yard sale. Um, I've never seen anything like it. They rent, you know, massive tents. They have one giant room inside and then five or six smaller rooms inside. They have um, four or five outdoor sections. Just to give you an idea, you know, I saw like maybe 15 to 20 washing machines at this place. Um, numerous lawnmowers. They had boats lined up and jet skis and, and campers and trailers. And they had workout equipment and sporting goods that, that sprawled over um, a huge area. I mean, we're talking acres here. This was uh, one of the biggest yard sales I've ever seen. There were probably seven or 800 people lined up before this thing even opened up. And, uh, um, of course, me being Commonwealth Picker, I was near the front of the line, thanks to my um, uh, my son. He was there helping me out, too. And we met some good folks standing in line there. We were there for probably 45 minutes before it opened. Uh, it's very well run by some excellent people um, who do an incredible job, this volunteer organization does. So uh, it's so good that, that this is what I pulled out of. This isn't even everything. It's currently raining outside, so I didn't even want to bother looking in the, um, pulling out the stuff out of the trunk. Um, I'm sure there's some more electronics. Most of it went in the in the back seat, but I'm sure there's some more in the back. And you can't see down here. There's just camera bags full of uh, camcorders and cameras. It was so big, I still haven't looked at it. So I'm literally gonna un un unbag these, if you will, um, with you here and see what we got. Just to give you an idea of the prices, and I won't go over each one. Uh, on average, these were about $10, some $15 a piece, some with remotes, some without remotes. Um, and then, and we'll talk about these in a second. And then the cameras down here, per bag, they're anywhere between $4 and $10 for a bag. And I haven't even opened them. I opened a couple um, right there at the sale, and they were good enough prices and good enough stuff inside. It was willing to take a chance. And I had my trusty Ikea bags and my son there, and we just started filling them up. Um, it's very well run. You can't uh, make a pile somewhere because there's too many people. So they make you check out. And so we had a little system there where we'd fill an Ikea bag, and he would go check out and put it in the car and then come back. And by then, I'd have another Ikea bag filled out. And I saw some fellow pickers there. And they, they were coming out with some great stuff, uh, boxes of Legos and um, like vintage Legos still in the boxes. And then those boxes in boxes. It was pretty good. Um, I have a fellow, fellow picker that I've been communicating with a little bit. I hope to have him on the show soon. Uh, found in uh, Akai Reel to Reel, really reasonably part. I think it was 20 bucks. Might have been 10 actually. Um, so... Here's some of the stuff I came out of there with, and then we'll do some later videos on the non-electronic stuff that we came out of there with, because I was there for a long, long time. So, anyway, any rate, um, the DVD VCR combos right here are all pretty good. If you if you do much with this, you'll notice the prices are down a little bit. Probably around Christmas, they'll, they'll creep back up just a little bit more. Um, but each one of these... I think are at least a $50 system plus shipping. Some could be $59.99 and maybe even $70. Um, the ones with remotes, there are two. Um, Samsung, Toshiba, and then two Sony systems. None of them are DVD-Rs. Um, so they're pretty good. I'm thinking uh, a minimum of $30 profit. Um, worst case scenario, I'll make $100 on these. Best case, probably $200. Now, the great thing about this yard sale, and they have so many, that they have so many TVs. And so what they do is they hook these up 
to the TVs as you walk into the sale. And you'll notice there's VHSs in them, there's DVDs in them. I have the cases for the DVDs over there. They put those on top. They sell you the machine and the DVD and the VHS that's in it um, because they're actually testing them as you walk in. You can see it playing on the screen. So every single one of these is tested and working because I watched it. Now this one, they could obviously only use one component. And so they were either testing the DVD or the VHS. So I will just test the other side before I sell them. They're all relatively clean, um, at least a white dev, um, and they have the remotes connected and some didn't, and they have a little sticker on top that tells you if there's any problem whatsoever and you, you avoid those. Um, these over here are just regular VHSs, but they were tested and working and they have the Panasonics. The Panasonics are one of the best uh, VHSs to sell. So the uh, PV8450 um for that one and we had what else the ph 8455s up here and that one has a remote so these are going to sell roughly for the same price that these are going to sell and none of these were over ten dollars so pretty happy you know it wasn't dirt cheap stuff but it was it was tested in good condition so that's definitely worth the price to pay um A few other things here on top, and there were more smaller electronics, but I just thought I'd put this one out. This is the Sony Dream Machine. It's the Cube. Um, this was only a dollar, I believe, and this didn't have a tested sticker on it. Got a little fading on the side, but it should be good for probably $15 to $25, depending on what the going rate is. It is a white one, so it's not, not you know, a, a different colored one, but those are pretty good. Um, they still sell... Let's see, let's just start down here. Maybe I'll come up a little closer so you can see as we unbox these. So this is a Samsonite carrying case. I don't know that a Samsonite's in here necessarily. Um, this one has a tag on it, so we paid $4 for this one. Um, and it is a camcorder. And it's a JVC. It's one of the older, older versions here, compact VHS. Um, 1995. So this is a GRAX 700U. And it looks to be in pretty good shape. They didn't have, I don't know if they had a tested sticker on this one or not, but it has, um, you know, all the cords and batteries and all the stuff that you would expect to see um, with it. It, uh, I don't see any cassettes. Here's another battery, an energizer. Here's, a, here's the actual JVC battery which again i don't know if that works or not but all the stuff you would expect to see in it is in it let's see what else we got we do have a sealed tape here so that's always a benefit to be able to sell that it does have the um camera cover and it does have the paperwork for it too so this looks like it's going to be pretty successful even though it's an older version it even has the strap the jvc strap on it so I know it's an older version of, of that compact VHS. It still should should bring, probably my guess is about $30. So I have to look it up though. All right, what else we have here? This is this Electo bag. Never heard of that brand. It says no JVC, at least the paperwork on top says JVC. So a bunch of JVC paperwork. Let's see, it says GRD37OU. Let's see if that's what's actually in here. And here we go. Little JVC right there. And I'm gonna see if it matches the, yep, GR, well, let's see. Yeah, it matches. GR D370U. Um, do not know how much this is worth. It's one of the mini DVs, um, multimedia card. So, pretty, pretty good shape. It's got batteries, it's got tapes, it's got, here we go, brand new sealed. So this is going to be good. It's got the cables right here as well. It's got everything you want to see in there. So that one is definitely going to be a winner. And this one was $6. $6, so I think that was success. This one says, tests okay, but no battery charger. So they'll tell you right there at the beginning. No battery charger on this. Wait a minute. Yeah, no battery charger. Tests okay, no battery charger. Okay. And it is, looks like we have another JVC. 
and the handle's in really good shape, and that's always a good sign. Y'all, if you're ever out there in the field and you see a, a JVC handle like that, a lot of times they're really rough, shows a lot of use. This one looks like it's almost never been used at all. It's really clean. Uh, Super VHS and the model number on this one is a GRSXM260U. Um, these ones sell really good. I've sold this one before. Um, I don't know what the market is right now on it, but it should be a pretty good item. It does not have a charger, however. It does have the original battery. So, going to have to find that. This... Yep, no battery charger, no extras in this one that I see right off hand. So, we do have a cassette down there, so that's always good. And the side pocket, you always got to check those side pockets. And the side pocket looks like it has a charger in it. So, I'm not quite sure if that is... Oh, I understand. So, there's no charger for the battery, but this charges, this will go right into the machine so there's your answer to the question this one has a little bit of a smell of smoke which is a problem so we're gonna have to let me smell the bag it's got a little bit of a smoky smell which is something we're gonna have to deal with we'll do some airing out and, and maybe do a video on some tricks to get rid of the smoky smell um, I have a few pieces of advice for it that we'll talk about in another video all right a few more bags. This looks like an old school bag right here. So, Coast. We'll see what's in there. And it's a regular camera. Uh, it is not a camcorder. And it is a rough case. It says Minolta. The strap doesn't have anything on it. Uh, sometimes you get these old straps, the hippie straps. And you can sell the straps. Uh, if you saw in a previous video, you can go down and look at uh, some of my shipping videos in the description below. This is a Minolta. And it is old for sure. Um, it's an XGM Minolta and uh, looking at the lens, Rolev MG, 49 millimeter. Um, it looks to be in pretty good shape. So we'll have to look that one up and see if it's got some value or the lens has some value. Sometimes we sell them separate, um, but that is not it. And here we go. So this is a good sign right here. Lens case. Oh, this is. You can see that right there. Really, really nice lens. I am no camera expert, so if there are any out there, feel free to chime in in the comments and let me know. This says Focal MC Auto and number eight. No, that's not well, 135 millimeter. And I believe it's Minolta. I believe it is. Um, I believe it is for the camera itself. Got another case right here. This is made in Taiwan. Case itself is nice, and it's another one. Very nice looking. Um, and the lenses on these look great. See that right there? Lenses look terrific on them. No scratches that I see. And it is 55 focal MC, uh, 1, 2.8, 28 millimeter, and it is a McKinnon made in Japan. McKinnon made in Japan. And the cases are nice as well. Foam padded, the foam is in good condition. Um, this should be a real winner. The price on this one was eight dollars um i think that's going to be well worth it i think it's going to be well worth it haven't checked the side pockets we'll see what we have here and some accessories maybe tiffin made in the usa don't even know what this is some kind of metal strap of some sort um Lens cover, maybe some, uh, let's see, it says Hoya on it, maybe y'all can tell me, and they look like uh, small lens caps maybe, made in Japan Hoya 55 millimeter, y'all can let me know out there, I'll have to look those up, like I said, I am no camera expert, and sometimes that's unfortunate because my lack of knowledge causes me to list things as is, unfortunately sometimes. 
So this looks like it was really high in at one point. Got a few more of those in there. Lens cleaning tissues. Nothing special there. And in the back, I think we have a flash Vivitar. I've sold a few of these. I don't know if they have any value anymore. Probably not, especially out of a box. And I like the bag. The bag itself is kind of neat. So some cleaning things. We've got some more of this here. One array. That looks like we'll find some value in there for sure. All right, I'm not going to take time to box that whole thing back up or bag it back up. We have three more bags to look at here. And these were four, four, and ten. Four, four, and ten. I don't know where they come up with prices. So this one doesn't look amazing. Olympus. Let's see what we got here. Olympus. Uh, IS30 DLX Panorama. Can you see that? Too much glare. Made in Japan. So we'll have to check that one out. It didn't look like there's too many accessories on that one. Just a nice little bag goes with it. Nothing special. All right. Moving on, this is a Pentax, and I have so well, it's a Pentax bag, it's a Pentax camera, okay, and it is a ZX10 Pentax camera, this is a $4 buy, I'm going to have to test that one out and see how that one is, and it does have a book that goes with it, and it has the case that goes with it. And it looks like it has a few other accessories inside of it as well. Oh boy, it's got film. Let me know. I have to develop that. <laughs> All right. What else do we have? It's like our last bag here. And this was $10. So this was the highest price one we had. It's a Nikon SLR. Made in Japan. It's a little case to go here. And... Nikon. Look at that one. Definitely not familiar, nor have I sold that one. But it looks like it's in fairly good condition, as does the lens. The case is okay. Um, so it should be a winner. Should be a winner. It does have an extra lens to go with it. It's going to be a good sign. I love to sell the lenses off, especially if they're in good shape. This one here is a Chiron. Oh, what does it say? 80 to 200 millimeter macro S4.5 um, MC. And the lenses look like they're beautiful. This one maybe has a problem here, a little fungus inside of it or something. So that may be an issue. All right, the bag with it is pretty nice, though. We'll check out, see if there's anything else in here, and um, maybe another day we'll go through the rest of the trunk when it stops raining, but very happy, not so sure. Maybe I'll keep a board like Lonnie and garage flips and, and see how much money we made off of Joyce Junk. Here's a Nikon. Looks like a flash, made in Japan flash. It's also in that bag and all the paperwork that goes with it. And sometimes the paperwork to collect or sell as well, but it's Vivitar and it's like a whole bunch of stuff that we'll have to dig through and see, see what we have. Nikon. So, all right. Um, very happy with this buy and thanks to all the people up at the uh, Catholic Church up by the lake. Uh, they did an outstanding job and uh, hopefully I'll see some of you there next year. All right, subscribe below.